Right, lads. How you doing? How Trips alright? I've met you before, my man. Broomy? Yeah, Broomy, Remember lads. me? Can you remember me? Uh, I can't you, you, you had court the next day for cracking that busy the last time. Oh, that's right. Do you oh, remember? Man. He was just telling me that story as well, what man, yeah. What's the chance he's <laughs> at that point? Jean's deaf. He's deaf. Are you deaf? <laughs> I've never met you, my man. What's your name? Andy. Andy. I'm John. Andy. What's your name again? Paul, wasn't it? Paul. Oh, Lord. Paul. I love Andy, Andy or no? You're Andy, Andy. No, I'm Jim. Good to see you, bro. Sorry, We're running a movement called the Mercaba Crusades now. We help people that are struggling with mental health and oh, uh, addiction. I've got uh, epilepsy. Right, I've right. I've been diagnosed with two types. Two types of epilepsy? Yeah. Right, what about It's not drink related. It's not drink related. It uh, runs in my family. Right, okay. So Plus, it's. Plus, uh, ex forces. Genetic, then? Uh, I was in uh, the Royal Scots Army for six years. Did you get any bro? tours? Beautiful uh, I went that. to Afghanistan. Did you do Afghanistan, did you? Yeah, aye? I did, uh, what year was that you went there? Uh, yeah, Andy. I was 16, mate. Right? It's Andy, innit? Andy, aye. 16? 16, 16 when, when I joined. Oh, when you joined, right? Um, and then I did my basic training, but I never had uh, epilepsy then. Right. You mind if I take a seat next to you, Andy, aye, boy? Bye. It's a pleasure seeing you again, bro. I was no just sitting you know. talking to about there. I was I met a guy here the last time. I think it was last year I was through here. Oh, and it was right in this right in this spot. Oh, you know what I mean? I'll get that for you. There you oh, go. Right. So uh, what I was mental though, you were just talking about that there. <laughs> so, so what we do, Andy, right? We we are hitting the streets of Glasgow and hitting the streets of Edinburgh, right? right. And we represent Markaba Crusade, so we're a movement like no other for a time like no other. But I've suffered, I've been homeless, I've suffered mental health, addictions, prison. The same as yourself, bro, yeah. do you know what I mean? We've changed our life now, so we've got a passion of helping people. We're trying to highlight the lack of support and the lack of help for yeah. people like yourselves who are suffering on these streets. Do you know what I mean, mate? There's, there's, it's, it's as if the government... A funding organisation, it's just lining their pockets, bro. It's not actually, right. it's not helping. You are you, are you, did you, you oh, were in I've it? I've been uh, rewarded the highest rate of PIP. So you've got a house now sorted? Uh, I'm still in St John's Hill at the moment. Are you still up there? Uh, it's supported accommodation. Right. So I've got support worker. Right, that's, that's good, mate. At least uh, you've got a roof there. You need with a bit of support. My epileptic tablets are on repeat prescription. Right. So if I run out, I can get any time I want. Excellent, mate. Right, that's good to hear. What about the alcohol? Are you drinking every day? Uh, if I can afford it, yeah. If you can afford it, obviously that's, that's got a big factor. It'll not help your epilepsy either. Well, uh, the only reason I drink is because I lost two of my daughters. You lost your two daughters? Uh, yeah. One died because uh, the hospital messed up, she had a hole in her heart. And the other one died because she had cancer. And then they caught it in charge. Oh. Sorry to hear that, Andy boy. The one that died uh, was only 25 days old. Oh I my was in God, the man. At the time. I can see why that would hey affect your mind, Sorry bro. That, I mean, bro, that's mate. trauma. That's, I've got two kids myself, and I could do Well, I've got, all together, I've got uh, six children. Six children? I've got five girls and one boy. That's it, just made me a granddad. Do you get to see any of your other uh, four children? Uh, I get, well, two of them are buried. I paid 15 grand a piece for their funeral. Right, okay. They're buried in Falkirk. You had, you had six kids, so I'm saying the other four that are still alive. I, uh, I see them. I was, I was in a pub at uh, the store. Right, so you I don't... got a tap on the shoulder, and I didn't even know it was my son, because there's a big guy now who plays rugby. So you don't have any regular contact no. with them? No. I only see them now and again. Right, so you, you just turn to, to alcohol to block out the pain, would you say? So, every day? Yeah, so I used to drink every day myself, Andy. I was, Drinking bottles of wine, I was snorting cocaine, I was chaos, I was a nightmare. Self medicating yourself, and that drinking well, numb your emotions. Crack pipes. You still on the crack pipes? I used to smoke it, I, but I don't do it anymore. Right, okay, you just to drink now? I'll just drink. What, you own just a beer? I just beer, right, that's yeah. all I drink. Right. I don't mix my drink. No, you just stick to the beer, as long as you've got that every day, you feel alright. Aye, right, because it stops me shaking. Right. I get the rattles. You get the rattles for it. It's really dead hard, I've got isn't my it? Dead, my dad ring, my Celtic ring. And I've also got a crop. Right, good man. Who was I got you? Because you used to, be, you were into your motorbikes in that, well, weren't you? I had a Yamaha 250cc. Aye. And then I got a Suzuki 1000. Good man. Do you ever think about what life would be like when you were foot alcohol? How to get after the drink? How to feel good again? Uh, well, they've asked me if I wanted to go to rehab, but I told them I'm not ready. You're not ready for it yet? Do you think you will be ready at one point? Do you want to change? Do you want to? I'd love to get off the drink, but it's hard. Oh, I know how hard that is, Andy. You don't need to hear, I know. It's, it's no easy. 
different things need to be put in place. Stuff that's not in place for you right now. What we offered me a uh, Ripson. A bit, sorry? Ripson Clinic. Right. It's like a detox thing with a, uh, like, sort of like rehab. Like a rehab, but a detox clinic. Is it private, Andy, that one? Is it a uh, private rehab? No, no, it's like a shared a, room. Right. Like a community-based one. Right. But so, what they do is to give you, uh, like, value. Right, to aye. To help you with your rattles and stuff like that. And they also give you this uh, fire me. What's it called? Fire me. Fire me. It's something so you... It's a blocker. You don't get uh, memory loss. Right, aye, aye. Because uh, if you drink too much alcohol, you can forget things. Oh, right. Which, uh, because me having epilepsy right. fit, I, I didn't even know my own mind. So you're forgetting things a lot because yeah. you're a separate. So do you take up? Do you still take your medication for the epilepsy? Take, and that? Well, they've told me to walk dosage, so I have to take four in the morning. Okay. And four at night. Right. Because that helps me go to sleep. Doesn't stop the rattle stop. Right. So I always have to make sure I've got a drink left for in the morning. It's hard, it, man. It's just a circle, isn't it, mate? Uh, it's just a vicious circle, bro. So, so as soon as you wake up in the morning, do you need to have a can? Yeah. As soon as you wake up. Exactly. What's one thing, Andy? See, for, it's a million dollar question, isn't it? If we, if you, if 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 we could, if you could have one thing that would change your life, then what, what, what would that one thing be to take you to the next level, to get your life back? So you're not addicted to substances, you're not addicted to the alcohol. What, what, what's that one thing that you would think would take you to the next level, bro? If I had my nanny back. If you had your nanny back, I saw it. Like my grief. nanny was my best friend. Right. Yeah, but she died at 18. Fuck. I was in prison at the time and I did say to the officers, can I go up my nanny's funeral? And they said, no, we ain't got enough staff. That's shocking, mate. Shocking. She died uh, on the 6th of February and I didn't get out till the 10th of February. So four days? Yeah. Four days? Fuck's sake, bro. Oh, well. Oh, well, this is disgusting. That is disgusting. Did your nan, did your nan... My nanny brought me up well, when I was, was 13. Say, that's how you're so close to her. She used to call me Panda. That's not because I had two black eyes. Right. That's because she liked me a bit. It's a good one, eh? Plus, I was an ex-boxer. That's right, Andy. You did a boxing, eh? Andy, remember you telling us, bro? Remember you had done that to the police? Remember? Well, I, uh, what it was, uh, they tasered me twice. Right. And I did give them a warning. I went, the minute these handcuffs come off, I'm going to break your nose and I'm going to break your boyfriend's jaw. So that's exactly what I done. But they took the left hand off first. Now myself. You're a southpaw? Yeah. Oh, you're a by the way. That's what I like to hear. I've never thought that. Bang! Right in the nose. Another one right in the jaw. Yeah. Two lefts. What happened? What what happened? Because you had caught. I uh, got thrown out. Good. Plus, they had to give me compensation because they broke my wrist. Right, aye. The handcuffs were too tight. When these are too tight, I was having an epileptic fit in the back of their meat bag and they were tasing me twice. Because I thought I was kicking up. Aye, Heavy so hand, you were taking, you you were taking a fuck. Yeah. Dirty bastards, isn't they? Oh, what, you are nothing but scummy cunts. You the minute the handcuffs come off, you're dead. Better to them. Right. Good on you, bro. They tried to do me with drunken disorderly and police assault. Shocking, aren't they? Because he's taking a fuck. I told my lawyer, I took my x rays from my wrist. Two of them got expended for tasing me while I was having a fit. Plus, I had to give me compensation. So I got uh, just over 22 grand. Oh, good on you, mate. Good on you, bro. We see that all the time. No, man. Yeah, using, they use their authority to intimidate and bully That's people, it. and that's exactly what they do, mate. So they need put in their place, so good on you, so by the way. You're a broomie, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a broomie. You're a broomie, like broomie <laughs> boy. <laughs> and plus, I'm half Irish, too. My dad was born in Dublin. A good combination, that, my man. And my broomie. nanny was born in Leith, in Scotland. Right, so oh, you've aye. got that connection to here. That's how you're up here. How long have you been up in Scotland for again? Uh, 20 years or something, like 28 that? 28 years. 28 years. I was on the streets for 19 years. Aye. Which was horrible. Well, at least you're past that stage now, my man. What we do as well, Andy, we... We do retreats and that for people, so we're trying to make a difference in people's lives, because we fully understand that one one bad move in this life, anybody could be stuck on the streets, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're just talking to a young boy up there, and I'm, I honestly, it's heartbreaking. Jim, what's it like? He's, he's, he's 28. He's, he's, he's sleeping he in the middle of Princess Street. Do you know what I mean? Literally just on the... Just walking by, by him. Do you know what I mean? And, disgusting, mate. And he's, he's got a DTTO, right? So he's got that drug testing order, right? right? They're supposed to have an address for that. So he's literally on the street. They know that he's on the street and they're not doing anything to help that's the boy. Do you know what I mean? Man. And he's just... it's People like that are really suffering. And that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to highlight the people's... Real people's struggles. 
in the major cities, and that's why this platform's created, Andy. And do you know what I mean? We are putting things in place. It's helped us that can help other people, and that's what we're Fantastic. doing. Well, it's, real, it's real life stuff, bro. Do you know what I mean? It's not going to your doctor so they can do you a wee pill and say, there you go, oh, there's your the methadone. That's what they just Suckle care about the money. Do you know what I mean? It's about... Everybody needs to initiate the change themselves. A hundred percent, you need to want to change because nobody can date for you. Not change true, doesn't man. change doesn't happen by chance. It happens by choice, Andy. You need to choose to say, right, that's it. I've had enough of this now. But listen, brother. Pleasure listen, talking to you again, pleasure, Andy. Baby, you're some guy, Paul. A diamond, my man. You're a good, good man. You know, yeah, brother. Right, right, Paul. What's your story, brother? What's your story? How do you? Oh, I've got a house here. I was on the street for twenty years. 20 year on the streets. Good mate, that's, that's, that's the main thing, isn't it? Is you've got somewhere to stay now. Five years, brilliant. It's, it's the drink, isn't it? Mate? Right, so that's a good thing, at least it's no grip you, do you know what I mean? Right, so you've got a support network and all that there as well. Brilliant, mate. I'm like to hear. I like to hear that you've got support. Do you know what I mean? Rather because a lot of people have not Right. Brilliant, mate. Excellent. And I get the council up every about two months. Aye. Just to tidy up, mate. Have you got that now? Have you? Fuck's sake, mate. Real struggles, my man. And I've got to eat tablets, 